What's going on people, it's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to add new sheets at the end of a workbook, at the beginning of a workbook, after an active sheet and before an active sheet. So uh, let's get right into it. We'll start our sub and we'll call it add sheets. And first we will use the basic um, feature to add sheets. So if we just do sheet add, what'll happen is a new sheet will be added before the active sheet, the current active sheet. So if I run this, you see before sheet one, now we have a, sh a new sheet called sheet two. If you wanted to add a name, we would do sheet add dot name and let's call this new sheet so if I run it I've got a new sheet that's before the active sheet if I were to put this here if I were to make this the active sheet and change this to new sheet 2 you see how it's added right before that current sheet I had and uh, I changed the name because you can't have a sheet with the same name. So if I were to run this again, I get an error. So now let's add a sheet after the active sheet. So all we'd have to do is do sheets.add. And then we'll do after. And we just have to put active sheet. So if I want this to be my active sheet, sheet two, I'll get a new sheet right after that, sheet six. And if I wanted to give it a name, I'd have to bring this in and put this in the parentheses and then put dot name equals newest sheet oh sorry I have to put uh, quotations around that so that's right after that if I put a 2 there and make new sheet my active sheet I'll get the new sheet added after that active sheet. Now, if I want to add a sheet at the beginning of this list, what I have to do is sheets dot add, and I'm going to do before. So colon equal sign. And then I'll just have to put sheets one. So this one pertains to references the very first sheet. So I'll comment this first line out and run it again. And see I've got a sheet nine before that new sheet. So no matter where I have no matter what sheet I'm actually on, when I run it, I'll get a new sheet at the very beginning. And like before, in order to add a name, I'll just have to bring that in, add parentheses, dot name, and we can call this first. So I run it, now I've got first at the beginning. Okay, so let me go ahead and remove some of these sheets. And I'll show you how to add a sheet to the end of a workbook. All right. So we'll just have to do sheets dot add. Add 
after and then we're going to do colon equal signs sheets and then sheets count so what this does it counts all the sheets and adds a new sheet at the end of the, the sheets that it counts so I'll comment out this line and run the and you see now you have a sheet added to the very end I can run that a bunch of times and like before if I want to add a name I bring it in parentheses dot name equals end I run it and now I've got one on the name and it says end and then uh, if you wanted to reference a cell let me bring this to the next line so underscore equals so say I wanted to reference a cell and say this is a final example and this works for any um, any option that we have so if you were to add a sheet at the end the beginning after the active sheet before the active sheet you would use the same method to reference a cell So say I wanted to, instead of have end as the name of the sheet, I want it to be this cell value here. What I would do is say that this is going to equal to sheets. And then I'll put the name of the sheet. This is on sheet end. So end and the cell elect coordinates so I'm down two over two so two two and then I want the text so if I run that let me delete some of these first now I've got this final tab that came from here so say I wanted to do another test and I wanted to use this line of code I'll comment this out and I'll do an underscore so I can continue on and instead of end I'll use a different sheet so let's go ahead with sheet 13 and I'll do C3 call it test and then We'll do sheets. This is going to be sheet 13. Cells down three over three. Let me just do this one. Down three over two. So you don't get confused as to which one the three belongs to, which one the two belongs to. Text. Oops. So this should add a sheet named test before the very first sheet. So I should see it here. And it doesn't matter which sheet we're on when we run this. And there you have it. Oh. run it again oh that's a bad name um sorry about that so it was on sheet 13 let's go with Greg that's my name and let's run it again there we go okay So there we have it. That's how to add a sheet name or add a new sheet after the current sheet, before the current sheet, at the end of the workbook, beginning of your workbook, adding a sheet with the name that you type in manually and adding a sheet with the name based on a cell value. Um, that's all I have for today. Thanks a lot for viewing. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.